What's going on everybody? This is Mason. You are tuning into the YouTube channel, Wasatch Pop. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day and a fantastic week. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Guys, today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different. What's up, Dad? How's it going? Peace out. <laughs> if you guys follow me over on Instagram, I love taking really cool photos. Over on my Instagram page, you know, with like cool layouts and stuff with pops and whatnot. But today, I'm gonna to kind of show you the process that I go through as far as, you know, how I select my photos, what props that I use and everything, kind of the whole creative process behind it. Figured it would be a really fun video. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoy this. Maybe you find something cool out of it. But anyways, let's get started. Also guys, Danielle is here with us today. And she's gonna be helping us out throughout this process and, and various different things. So, just so you're aware of that. She's gonna be like my assistant, I guess, right? Can we say that? You can just be my partner in crime. How does that sound? Okay, so partner perfect. in crime, Bonnie and Clyde. There you go. Yep. We're gonna start out with tip number one, and that is what is your theme? What you can theme your photo around, like what, what is it gonna be about? Is it gonna be based on a movie? Is it based on like a TV show? Maybe like a certain character, or maybe like a holiday or something. Something really cool that I'm excited about of what has recently dropped is all the office pops. So today, I'm gonna be theming my photo around all the different office pops that have come out that I've gotten so far. So that's gonna be the theme for today. That's kind of something that you gotta keep in mind. What are you gonna theme your photo around? Right here, all the different pops that I'm gonna be using today. Like I said, you can use multiple, depends on what kind of photo that you're doing, but with the office, I've got all the different ones that they have out so far, minus a couple exclusives, but we've got all the commons and stuff right here. So that's what we're gonna be using in the photo. And then something else that you wanna consider when you're taking this photo is, how do you wanna do it? Are you gonna do like something that I I do similar like a flat lay where you have everything flat on a table and you take a picture from up above or are you gonna make it like scenic or are you gonna take it in front of a store that's just something to consider okay guys tip number two what you want to do is you got to find props for your photo so um, I guess in this example specifically um, for the office pops you got to surround it by things that are in the office or iconic things from the show so a bunch of office supplies you know like uh, Pen, paper, obviously, because they're a paper company, that would definitely make sense. Maybe like um, paper clips, um, I don't know, any office supplies that you can think of, and then some iconic things or whatever. Something that you can consider as well is like, what what do I already have? So like for the office, we've got like a bunch of like office supplies in here, like, you know, pens, paper, whatever, envelopes, all that kind of stuff. Consider what you already have so you don't have to go out to a store, but if you do go out to a store, you can just go to like the dollar store or something and buy something for really cheap for the props in your photo. So I did make a quick trip to the dollar store to buy a couple of things. Like I found this pair of glasses that I'm like, these kind of look like Dwight's glasses. They would be really cool. A little like pen holder or something, a calculator and then just like some various notebooks and like paper. I also found um, these really cool uh, Hello My Name Is badges, because if you guys watch The Office, you know that uh, Jim does something really funny with his name tag, so that's an example of some props. Okay, Danielle, I need your help on something here. Okay, what well. are some iconic things from The Office that we can include in this photo, like props? Like iconic things that you can think of. Dwight's glasses. Dwight's glasses. Okay, we've got that covered. What, what's something else that you can think of? Uh, stapler and Jell-O. Stapler and Jell-O. Ooh, that's a really good... Do you know how to make a stapler and Jell-O? Um... I think I understand now. Okay, guys, so we got the Jell-O right here. We're going to make our Jell-O mold for the pitcher. And um, I'm, I'm actually, I don't, I don't really know how to do this, but anyways, we got boiling water. We're, we're following instructions. Gonna add this into here and uh, see how it turns out. All right guys, now that we've got the jello in the bowl with the stapler, we're gonna put this in the fridge and let it settle. I'm making sure I don't spill this because I have the tendency to do that quite a bit. And there we go. We're gonna let that sit there probably for a little bit, but you guys, it's gonna be like two seconds, so. All right guys, I think we have some uh, settled jello here, so that will be a really cool prop. We'll have to like flip it on a plate and decide how we wanna do this, but I tested it. It seems like pretty settled to me. Okay, Danielle, I'm gonna need your help flipping this onto the plate right here. Do you think you can do it? I can attempt it. Cause I know if I were to do it, I'd mess it up. I trust you a lot more than I trust myself. Yeah, so I, do it? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. 
I don't have high hopes. <laughs> oh, frig, Danielle, you scared me. It's not bad. I think that looks okay. I mean, I think it could look better. It look, could look better. That's not bad. We'll, we'll take it. We had a little scare there, but it'll work. Next, we have the setup. And so there's a couple of different things that you can do for the setup. First thing that you want to consider is your lighting. So are you going to have like a big window? Something like that. That's what I usually use for lighting. Or are you going to actually have like a legit light? Like I have a light that I use like right here for like videos and stuff that's like a studio light. Um, I'd say some of the best stuff that you can get is like natural light or whatever from a window and that's usually what I do. Um, and so that's something to consider. Something else to consider as well is how do you want everything set up? Are you gonna make like a collage or whatever? If you're doing a flat lay like I do, what I usually do is I get my props, kind of put them in certain spots. I always like to take the pops out of the box and then incorporate the boxes as well. But uh, how are you gonna do it? Kind of put it together like a puzzle. That's kind of how I like to think of it. Or maybe like a mosaic kind of art kind of thing. Just something to consider. Another thing that you want to think about is your camera that you're using. So for everything that I do, I just use my phone. So I have a Google Pixel. Pixel XL, just like the original one. So it's honestly nothing crazy, but it takes incredible photos. Guys, most of the time, you don't even have to use like a crazy camera. You can just use like the phone or your camera phone basically. And it just takes just a good photos. If you have access to other things, might as well use it. But that my recommendation, just kind of use what you have. And now that I've given you some recommendations on the setup, let's kind of put everything together. So by the magic of time lapse, we've got everything set up. Cause I mean, I did have a time lapse. Anyways, so we've got everything set up right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my phone, go up above and uh, we're gonna take a picture. Now that your photo is taken, you, you, you know, you spent so much time taking your photo, it's ready to be edited. Sometimes you don't even have to edit photos a whole lot, but sometimes it's good, you know, just to add some finishing touches. So I recommend if you're using your phone, there's a lot of great apps that you can use. I use like Snapseed. I also use the built-in photo editor for my phone for Google. And you can change all the different levels, you know, like exposure, different lighting and color and everything. And that just helps kind of spruce up the photo a little bit, make it pop a little bit more. Um, if you're going on like a desktop, I would suggest just doing like Lightroom if you want Want really like fast edits that's an adobe product that you can get you know to edit your photos and everything make some good tweaks to it also when you got your uh, thing loaded up into instagram you can always use all the instagram features they have some actually pretty solid tools um if you want like one solid filter or if you want to tweak your individual things all your individual like levels with like exposure contrast brightness vignettes um, sharpen things or whatever. They have a lot of cool tools that you can just use in Instagram. And that is gonna wrap it up for this video. Um, guys, hopefully I shared some good tips with you as far as how to take some really cool Funko Pop photography or just Funko photography in general, or maybe just that overall photography. I don't know. Hopefully, you know, something that I shared with you today um, might help you out in that regard. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a little bit different. I wanted to do something behind the scenes because uh, I know a lot of you guys enjoy those kind of photos that I take. And I just wanted to kind of share, you know, just a little behind the scenes of how that whole process works. But if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Leave a comment down below, you know, what photo should I do next? Um, maybe that would be a good suggestion. I, I don't know. I've done a lot of different things, but I'm always open to new ideas. So let me know in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos um, like this one. But guys, thanks so much for watching again. You guys are the best. Remember to be kind to one another and always promote positivity. And I'll see you in the next video. Catch you guys later.